Hello there and welcome back. This video is going to be another strawberry video and basically in this video I want to talk about mutations. So mut mutations opposed to queries uh, represent operations that modify server-side data and cause side effects on the server. And in this video we are going to see a simple example of mutations. So, from the previous video, we are going to repurpose our book class. And here we would like to import strawberry and create our strawberry type class query and the strawberry field. And we would have the hello which returns a string and return the world. Now what we would like to do is to create our strawberry type and this class is going to be called mutation and the strawberry dot mutation is going to be the add book function. So this is going to be a class method and we will have the self, the title which is a string and the author which is also a string and we return none. So what we would like to do is to print that adding title and author. Then what we would like to do is to return book title equals title and author equals author. And we create our schema and the strawberry schema I said schema is going to be passed the query class and the mutation and it should work so basically what we would like to do is to activate our virtual environment and use the strawberry server schema command let's open this up in a browser i have to rewrite it to localhost and here we have our editor and create a mutation and let's pass to the ad book the title Lord of the Rings and the author Tolkien. Now if we execute it Hold on. What? So we have the author, the title, and then we have the title passed as argument. And I think I made a typo in the progress. So we have the ad book, we are printing it. Here is the title, here is the author, and we have the query. So let's see. Now I am going to restart this one, reload the web page. and now it is working so there was a typo so this is how you can use mutations and that was all i wanted to show you in this video see you in the next